Hey, good morning. How's everybody doing today? It's Thursday. Hey, we made it past the if this hump day Wednesday. It's the 16th of December, 2021. God bless each and every one of you. So I just want you to know that God loves you. He cares for you. Again, as long as I'm alive in this planet Earth, it's my life mission, ambition, just to let you know about the love of the Father, how he sent his only begotten son, Jesus. That every day we wake up, we have to acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord of the Messiah, the King, that Jesus Christ came and he he resurrected from the dirt, he resurrected from the cross of Calvary the third day. There is no other name on the heaven and earth that one can be saved but by the name of Jesus. And I put a scripture to confirm all this. It's, it's, it's Acts 4.12. It says here that it says salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven and earth uh, under heaven given to mankind by which by which we must be saved. Let me read that again. Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. That name is Jesus. There is no other name. The name of Jesus is the name that's above all names. You hear me say this all again. It's above all rule, authority, power, dominion, every time we give it only this age, but the age to come. That every name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. He's the Messiah. He's the King. I don't make excuses. I don't say, well, you know, we, we just, no. Jesus is it. He is it. Every day we wake up, we must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord of the Messiah. He is the King. He is the Great I Am. That He came to this world with virgin birth. That He died and resurrected on the third day of Calvary. You hear me say this over and over again. There is no other name. No other name that one can be saved and and be, be, be come before be, be come before the presence of the Almighty God Himself, the Almighty Father. It's the name of Jesus. Jesus says, "I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me." I won't make any excuses to say, "Well, you know, maybe if no, it's Jesus. It's always about Jesus. Jesus Christ is Lord. He's the Messiah. He's the King. Jesus Christ is the Anointed One. He came into this world for one reason only to to reconcile mankind back unto the, unto the Kingdom of God." That we are born again and washed and cleansed and be able to go into the presence of the Holy Father because of what Jesus did for us at the cross. He paid the price. As he says, it is written. I mean, it is finished. It is finished. When he said that, it was mm -hmm. all paid for. Mm -hmm. Anywho, God bless each and every one of you. I want to pray a prayer of blessing over each and every one of us this day. God is good and mighty and powerful. And again, as long as I'm alive on this planet Earth, the name of Jesus will always be proclaimed as the only name but one can receive salvation and eternal life. Father, I thank you again for Jesus. I thank you for what he's done for us, Father. I pray, God, that each and every one of us, my Lord, will wake up and just acknowledge, my Lord, Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Acknowledge him, Father, for what he did for us in the cross of Calvary. Acknowledge, Father, how he came to this world of a virgin birth, Father. And that, God, that we just come before you, Father, and humble ourselves and say, Lord God, save us. Lord God, redeem us. Lord God, do those things which you've said you've done in your word already, my Lord. That each and every one of us, my Lord, are born again and washed and cleansed in the blood of the Lamb, and we receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. That God, there is no other name under heaven and earth that one could be saved but, but the name of Jesus, Father. He paid it all. He did it all for us, my Lord. So my prayer this morning, Father, and I'm praying for those of us who know Jesus first, Father, that we would acknowledge this every day, my Lord, that we acknowledge that our salvation has been bought and paid for by the cross of Calvary. And that, God, that we are grateful and thankful for what he, Jesus did for us, that we will never forget and never take for granted our salvation, my Lord. And I pray for those, my Lord, who don't know Jesus, Father, they would come to the saving knowledge of your Son, my Lord, for that your will that all mankind come to the saving knowledge of your Son, Jesus, Father. So I come in agreement with your word over this, my Lord. So, Father, I pray by the Spirit of the Lord, Father, because the word says that no man, can, no man can say, Jesus Christ, be saved, or he be cursed, but by the Spirit of the Lord. So I thank you for this, Father, in the precious name of your Son, Jesus. Amen. Again, today is today is the uh, the the sixteenth of December, two thousand and twenty-one. It's Thursday. It's all about Jesus, people. It's all about Jesus. He's the Christ. He's the Anointed One, the Messiah, the King. He came into this world. The Bible says that Jesus made a public spectacle of Satan on the cross of Calvary. That we've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. That Jesus Christ went to heaven, poured His blood on the throne room of heaven, on the on the on the on the throne of God, and that we were born again and cleansed and washed the sacrifice of the Lamb of, of, of without spot and blemish. Jesus Christ. Anywho, have a blessed day. Remember, it's always about Jesus. It's always about the Lord and Savior. It's the King. As we celebrate Jesus Christ today. Every day it's Christmas because every day we recognize that Jesus Christ came into this world of a virgin birth and he died and resurrected the third day of Calvary. Have a blessed day today. Be blessed. Know that God's alive. He lives. And know that Jesus Christ is Lord. Be blessed. Have a great day. You take care. And one last thing, the guy in the camera, he's always praying for you. You take care.